Yo, 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 what up, YouTube Yaks? It's your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Jailbreak Hacker, otherwise known as only using me Tomahawks. Some of you guys may know me as Easy, like I always say, to the black, to the below, my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So, this video is basically for Mac users and may also be for uh, Windows users, also, but mostly for Mac. So, if you just updated to OBS 29, which is OBS 29.0.0 and um like i said mostly for mac and your ndi is no longer working so you can actually sh do like do pc gaming and stuff like that um i have a workaround and a fix to actually fix this problem um it's something that you may have to do now i already fixed the problem and i can't remove the settings but i can show you how i got it to work so basically if you go into obs which i want to show you right now and as you can see right here, here's my NDS file. My, I'm sorry, my NDI file right here, which is my source. I'm just gonna remove it really quick, add a new one. And let's say this is not on your screen after you installed it, which is OBS 29.0.0. You click on this or you don't have the option, it's not there. I'm just gonna click on it one more time. And as you can see, there's nothing there. Now, let's say you don't have this option at all, which you're not going to have the option because once you update it, you're not going to have this. This is not going to be here. So basically, this is what you're going to have to do. You have to download a program called um, OBS Link. That's what's going to actually do it. Most of y'all probably already have OBS Link. And like I said, you upgrade it to OBS 29 and you notice that the NDI is not there. The NDI source is not there. So what you got to do is go to this program right here which this is the new one right here and let's say you downloaded it right which i'm going to download it right now mine's is going to work like i said because i already fixed the problem so let's say you download the um pk um the pkg right now which i'm just going to download it right now <coughs> so you guys can actually see me downloading the actual program because um, there is people out there that put up false things just to give you a virus to your computer it actually happened to me and i wound up getting my youtube channel hacked so you know i'm showing you me installing it running through the program um you could run through virus checks like that i'm just giving you all the information you can do this at your own you don't have to follow the links in the description you can actually do it on yourself you can look for other people like that it doesn't matter but i'm just giving you guys the information i'm going to install it right now here we go install install there you go I'm gonna move it to my trash. The reason why I'm moving it to my trash is because I no longer need that file anymore, which I actually do need the file again, but I'm just showing you guys exactly how to get it to work. So I'm just gonna minimize this because I'm gonna have to come back to that page in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna open up OBS, right? So let's say you installed this new one right there and you updated everything, you just installed it, you go to here, and you still don't see that there, right? Here's the reason why you're not seeing it is because you have to go back to an older version, which is the version, uh, which is NDI 4.5.1. So you go back here, you install it. And the problem is you still don't see this here anymore, right? So I'm going to just exit out of this. We're going to go back to that page we just opened up. And what we're going to do is, as you can see right here, and it tells you right here, download and run obs ndi 4.10.0 um, as you can see right here but what you need to do is download 4.5.1 then you need to reinstall this one back so we're going to download this i'm going to go back to this here's the file right there we're going to install it which is this which this version is 4.5.1 click continue click agree click install you might ask for your password I'm going to put my password in. There we go. Close it. Move the trash. Okay. Now what you want to do, now it's going to give you the option to actually use it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up, um, not just yet. Sorry about that. I want to open up OBS link. Turn it on. As you can see right there, OBS link is on. Now I'm going to click on OBS wait for that to open up now i'm going to click plus now you should see ndi right there source right there click on it name it i'm just going to name it elgato click okay go to source 
As you can see, that easy's link. Put everything up right there. Click OK. And as you can see, it's right there and it's going to pop up. Now I already have everything open. Now I have this already open for um, basically show you because here's my mouse right here. This is to my my dual PC. This is my PC. Um, this is how I normally record stuff. I do have about four PCs like that and three Macs and iMac and stuff like that. So as you can see, it's right there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this. I'm going to delete it again just so I can show you how the next step. I'm going to close it out. I'm going to close out um, OBS link. Close that out. As you can see, it's closed. What I'm going to do is go back to that page. And I want to re-download what I just downloaded, which was um, this right here, 4.10.0. Just going to download it again. Wait for it to pop up. Go to that. Now I'm going to download it again. Click continue. Click continue. Install. Can close it out. Move that file to trash. You don't have to move the trash. You can keep it just in case. And I'm just going to minimize this. I want to open back up OBS link. As you can see, it's right there. I'm going to open back up OBS. Put my new source in. As you can see right here, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to name it Elgato. Click OK. Go to the source. Click on that. Click OK. And just wait a few seconds. And there you go. Let me move my mouse around. As you can see right here. I just got to fix the issue with the CPU right here um, for it. So don't don't mind that this is just something that i gotta bear with it um that's why my frames is running um slow it's because i have multiple things running and it's affecting what's going on on my screen but yeah that's how you fix the problem with ndi not showing up ndi source not showing up on um obs 29.0.0 on mac this may work for pc i'm not sure but i will catch you guys later make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell become part of the dy easy gang gang and i'll catch you guys later all right, y'all probably wonder why I keep saying that easy is because my YouTube channel was hacked. Um, I'm in the process of obtaining my channel back, um, getting my videos reinstated back, just all that stuff that I need to do. All right, boys, your boy, that easy, and I'll catch you guys later. That's it, and I'm out. Deuces.